Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here with Sylvia D'Souza at the Elite 24 in New York City. Sylvia, how's New York treating you so far? I mean, I, like I just got here today, and uh, what I can see is pretty. It's been pretty good this morning, and uh, I think it's going to be pretty well for the next couple of days. When did you learn that you're invited to this event, and what was your reaction? Man, I was pretty happy. I couldn't tell now because I. I always want to be here, and uh, I got the opportunity to be here, and that's why I came here and to show who I am and what I can do to. The first time we saw you was at the Under-17 World Championship two summers ago. Um, then in February, about 18 months ago, we saw you at Basketball Without Borders in New York. You were pretty much fresh off, fresh from Angola. How have things changed for you the last 18 months? Well, what has that journey been like for you so far? It's been it's been very hard, very hard to to uh, to deal with the with the basketball, American basketball and the African basketball because it's pretty diff there is pretty difference, a lot of different and the, the everything is just about about work. Once you work, you work everything every day, each day, and we're gonna be we're gonna be fine for for the next days. What made you decide to make the jump over here? I guess you and um, Bruno Fernandez kind of came over at the same time. Uh, first of all, I came out. I came up here to United, United States for my academy, academy stuff. And secondly, I came here to, to improve my basketball stuff. And uh, that's how that's how I came here. That's why I came here. This summer, you got a chance to go back uh, to, to uh, Africa to play in the Afro Basket uh, in Rwanda. Uh, you guys won the championship. But uh, what was that experience like for you? <laughs> Man, it was pretty good. Man, everything I learned over here in the United States during over these two years of right here, I could teach them, I could teach my teammates, I could help a lot of my team and and do what I gotta do and uh, won the national championship. For people that are watching this video that might not know too much about you, what can you tell us about yourself as a player? Well, like what what style of player are you? What is your role on the floor? That kind of thing. Say that again, please. Uh, what kind of player are you? What is your role usually on your team? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a kind of main scorer, uh, rebounder, and uh, athletic. Athletic player, yeah. that's, that's who I am in the court. What are you still trying to improve on? What do you need to do to reach your full potential as a basketball player? My handles, my, my shooting, and uh, my, my defense. I need to improve a lot for the next couple of years. We haven't seen a lot of guys coming out of Angola the last few years, taking the route that you and Bruno took coming through high school. Uh, I heard that uh, Cristiano Gomez, the small forward from your team, is coming here off to the prolific prep now. So it seems like it's becoming more of a route that Angolan players are taking. Um, why do you think you guys are, are deciding to take this route of coming to play uh, high school basketball in the U.S. And, and maybe playing in college too? I mean, I'm glad there is too many, too many people, too many guys from Angola come out, come up here to show who, who they are, to show who, what they can do to USA and show to Angola how they are, they are capable to do it. And I'm just happy to, to know that there is too many, here is too many people from Angola, and that's that's make me, give me motivation to to work more, more and more to. To be great one day. Tell me about your jump shot. How good of a shooter are you right now, and how big of a part of your game is your jump shot? I'm not a pretty good shooter, but I can shoot the ball pretty. I can shoot the ball very well, no? but I still have to, to work a lot in, uh, on that situation, and that's what I have been I have been doing. Is it a matter of uh, changing your mechanics, or is it just going in the gym and, 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 and getting repetitions? What is the key going to be to improving as a jump shooter? It's just getting in the gym and repetition my shooting every day, and it's going to be fine one day. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. You're welcome.